tried a $12,000 flying surfboard. And it's a lot easier to ride than you'd think. This is an e-foil. It has an electric motor attached to a hydrofoil or a thin blade underneath the board. With enough speed, you can lift up and fly above the water without needing wind, waves, paddle, or a tow. Co-founder Nick Leeson said the boards were designed so that everyone can learn to ride the e-foil quickly. I love water sports, so right away, I wanted to know if it really was as user-friendly as he said. So I went to Isabella, Puerto Rico to try it out. And turns out, he was right. Nick took us to Crash Boat Beach for our first ride. It's his favorite spot, and he said he'd have me up on the board in 20 minutes. I have a lot of experience paddleboarding and windsurfing, but even I thought he was overestimating my ability. First, we had a safety talk about the functions of the board and how to safely bail if we fell. He explained you control your speed using a small handheld remote, and you turn by simply leaning or shifting your weight in one direction. He said that there are four main steps to riding the e-foil like a pro. Starting in your stomach, to kind of get a feel for the board, getting up on your knees, standing up, and then hydrofoiling. Easy enough. So we headed out on the water to try it ourselves. Climbing on the board was no problem at all. Once you're up, it's kind of relaxing. I just spent the next couple minutes increasing my speed to get a feel for the board underneath me. The first time getting on my knees was a little wobbly, but once they were in place, I felt totally comfortable straightening my back. And I didn't fall, so I'm gonna count that as a win. Full disclosure, this was the step where I first wiped out. While going at pretty fast speeds, you have to pop up into this open stance with one foot forward and one foot back. And the first time I did it, I totally lost balance. But on the second try, I got up and stayed up. It was probably less than five minutes and I was standing comfortably. This was by far the hardest step for me. From the standing position in step three, I had to shift my feet to the back of the board. And with my weight in my back foot, the board literally lifted out of the water onto the hydrofoil. I know it doesn't look real, but I swear there's physics involved and it works. And I probably spent the next hour just going up on the hydrofoil and trying to come down as smoothly as possible, all from shifting my weight between feet. And this is where I had my fair share of face plants. We have a lot of people that have never surfed before and they're getting up and hydrofoiling on their first uh, battery charge with the e-foil. Our e-foil is really designed to open up the world of foiling to everybody. But for a board that's made for anyone, I couldn't quite get over the $12,000 price tag. So I set out to find out why it's so pricey. Well, it turns out the production process is pretty much all done by hand, using state-of-the-art technology. We're talking lithium ion batteries, a carbon fiber hydrofoil, an electric motor, assembled in the Isabella factory by a Puerto Rican staff. I would say 40 to 60 hours probably, when you add it all up for each component. We're doing about four to five boards a day to ship it out, which is there's a lot of work involved um, to put those together. A lot of different teams need to come together. Pretty soon it'll look like the Jetsons, you know, with everybody foiling around everywhere. Having seen how much time goes into each board, I totally see why it costs $12,000. But I guess the real question is, would it be worth the steep price tag? In my opinion, absolutely, if you have the means. Nick was right. He can get anyone standing on the e-foil in less than 20 minutes. It's easy to learn and ridiculously user-friendly. And without sounding cliche, it's magical up on that hydrofoil. Once you lift off the water, it's silent. You're literally flying. And I guess you could say that feeling is priceless. But sadly, I probably won't afford to be up on the e-foil again anytime soon.